Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a video on basically like what has COVID taught me? So basically just kind of like what I've learned from this pandemic, possibly what I would have done differently if the pandemic never happened. Um, and yeah, just kind of like a rundown of like this past year because this is the anniversary like of, you know, lockdown for Scotland. I'm, I'm not sure about the other, like the rest of the world, but basically the anniversary of a year is coming up um, in Scotland. I'm not sure exactly when but I know it's this week at some point um, and I just wanted to reflect back on this past year because it's just been a complete shit show that's all I'm gonna call it I generally think it's just a, been a complete shit show honestly but yeah so reflecting back to this time last year genuinely I'm pretty sure I'm with majority of Scotland at this point when we first get told we were going into lockdown we were like yes two weeks off that's generally or yes two months off like I can't remember if it was two weeks or two months but basically we were like yes two weeks or two months off let's just chill like you know school kids were like oh my god we're gonna have this much time off school like good we don't need to deal with teachers don't need to deal with that I didn't need to go into college at this point I was off work like literally had like all the time in the world at this point so like my mindset back then was like everything's at home let's save money and buy clothes Genuinely, that's the way I wanted to be. I was literally, let's just save money and buy hundreds of stuff, buy hundreds of takeaways, buy hundreds of clothes, buy loads of just different things I probably didn't need. And it was just pure chaos. Like, we just, nobody knew what was happening. Like, it was generally like, nobody knew what was happening. Nobody had any idea of what was gonna go on in the future. Nobody even had an idea that we'd be still in this a year later. And reflecting back as well, like everybody was going on Zoom um, and everybody was going on TikTok as well. Like, everybody just started TikTok and you know I was one of those people that was like I'm never ever going to make a TikTok blah 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 um, I find it did cringy everything else and I then eventually started making some but we soon realised that this isn't what we thought it was going to be like at all we generally thought that it was just going to be a quick two weeks or two months and then we were just going to go back to normal but that was not the case at all about two or three months in you know masks became mandatory in shops we weren't allowed to see our families we weren't allowed to see friends we weren't allowed to go anywhere unless it was a show and everything else and it was just it was just like a complete utter shit show and I just feel like like nobody thought this was ever going to happen like nobody thought this was going to be a thing I'm pretty sure the UK will stand by me on this like nobody knew we were going to be still in this shit show a year later and about 90% of what the UK government and the Scottish government have done I don't agree with and I might get hate for that I might not I don't know but that's just my opinion and I know a lot of people will stand by me on that as well so pandemic wise the pandemic taught me to focus on myself because this time last year my mental health wasn't the greatest and um, I decided to come off my birth control I decided to um, focus on myself and yeah and just kind of create a new me kind of thing um it also taught me that the people who I thought were there for me weren't and also the opposite the, the people that I didn't think were going to be there for me were there for me um so it was a, compl a complete table turn for me because the people that I was friends with going into this pandemic I am not friends with now and I don't think I ever will be and I know it obviously it takes two people to communicate but um sometimes I did communicate with these people and they just wouldn't communicate back to me so I just kind of thought okay then you're not there for me the way that I was there for you so I'm just gonna kind of like take myself out of the equation and just kind of focus on myself and rely on myself because I feel like the only person I can properly rely on is myself that kind of happened for the first two months I was just trying to kind of find myself and um you know I was going in and out of a uh, depressive episode you know if you've watched a lot of my mental health videos you'll know all this already if you've been there from the beginning but people who don't know um, you know I was going in and out of depressive, depressive episodes and I didn't really know what was going on didn't know properly where my head was at so I decided to start new things I decided to basically be like do you know what I don't care what anyone else thinks and I'm just going to start doing things that I've thought about doing but didn't really have the balls to do i.e. YouTube so I started YouTube um, I started focusing on my mental health and telling you guys my experiences with mental health and how I deal with them and trying to give you tips and tricks on how to keep motivated and things like that. FYI, I still struggle with these to this day. I'm not saying everything I possibly do works. I've either told you guys it because it's worked for me either in the past or it's worked for me sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't always work for me either. So don't worry, it's all, it's all trial and error. And 
you know sometimes you do need to just try something different because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so started focusing on my mental health started focusing on my physical health as well you know because obviously we were all doing like workouts at home and um doing like the whipped coffee and trying all these new trends and everything but then once kind of really at reality hit all that stuff fizzled out and you know i started gaining a bit of weight um the like the lockdown weight and everything else so i just started kind of being a bit more cautious of my diet um you know trying to do things that make me happy i.e making videos and focusing on my social media and stuff that i wanted to focus on um and not caring i focused on not caring because when i cared too much it affected my mental health so i just decided to stop caring it kind of worked for a little while sometimes i still go back to caring too much and i really shouldn't and i take a lot of things to heart when i probably shouldn't um but that's just me and who i am and just i can't really change that just started kind of thinking a wee bit differently i'm looking down because i've wrote some stuff down but like i'm kind of fit like i've kind of went through everything that i've written down but honestly i think all in all like we generally thought that this wasn't going to be a year thing like we generally thought that we were going to be out of this within two months and just think that it was all going to be over within like two months or three months or whatever and obviously when stuff started kind of opening back up in summer and stuff like i think we all knew that we were all going to go back into another lockdown but we were all kind of like in denial um because i was one of those people i was in denial i was like nah if we go back into a lockdown like i'll have a mental breakdown like i can't I can't focus, I can't do that, like, and we did go into another lockdown, we actually went into another two lockdowns, again, I don't agree with, ha like, more than half of what the UK and Scottish government done, um, I generally think, I stand by the people who generally think that we should have went into, like, a mega lockdown, shut off our borders, shut off everything, and just kind of done it for, I don't know, for how many months, and just kind of bared with it, and, you know, we'd be back to more norm normality, like, kind of like what other countries have done i don't agree with the i agree with the phased return now purely because the vaccine and stuff's out and everything else but i don't i did not agree with the phased return back in summer last year you know we didn't have a vaccine we didn't have any of the stuff that we have now and you know we didn't know enough about the virus either so we should have just shut down for six months or nine months or whatever and we should have just bared with it because we've bared with three different lockdowns so we've done it all in all covid has kind of just taught me to like appreciate more things in life because you don't like you don't know what you've got until it's gone for me that was just like everyday things like sitting in a, a coffee shop and having a coffee um or like going into a shop and just walking in with you know the amount of times i've nearly walked in a shop and went oh shit i don't have a mask like you know it's stuff like that like it's just little things and it's just it's crazy the gym is a massive one as well like i'll probably get a lot of hate for this but i don't really care because i'm gonna say it anyway i do not agree with the sh gym shutting um the gyms are a massive thing for mental health and they're a massive um part to play in people's mental health and a lot of people will say well you can just work out at home but a lot of it isn't just for losing weight or getting fit a lot of it is genuinely going to that place creates some sort of release because it might be their safe place it might be where they feel comfortable because i was one of those people i went to the gym i've so the gym that i go to is 24 hours and the reason that i started going to the gym so late at night so i went well late at night slash early in the morning i started going at like two in the morning purely because there was no one in the gym and i had the whole gym to myself and i could focus on myself 100 percent. you know i could lift heavy weights and not get judged on what i'm doing or who i'm standing beside or what i look like and I just felt, I don't know why, but I felt safe in that gym. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was because I was surrounded by heavy weights. I don't know if it was because I felt in my element. It's probably all of those things. But, you know, I was one of those people. And, you know, the, the kind of only time that I would probably leave the house at that point was to go to the gym. Um, because I literally was sitting in this flat just cleaning it top to bottom and just well at that point I didn't have uni at that point um and I was just kind of going with the flow and just I wasn't really doing much you know if I get hate for what I'm saying that's fine um I respect everyone's opinion at the end of the day and you know the people that don't agree with me should respect my opinion at the end of the day so that's just the way it is but probably see if this pandemic didn't happen i'd probably have a completely different mindset i'd probably still be on my birth control really hormonal and probably have really horrible mental health issues um probably even worse than what i have now i'd probably 
even more stressed out my mind and probably working overtime after overtime after overtime to get more money in the bank I'd probably be working myself into the ground and I'd probably be twice the weight than what I am now because I think Covid kind of gave me a reality check to say listen you have gained weight and you're unhappy with yourself so fix it I think that's okay uh, I'm kind of lucky that the friends that I have right now are very I wouldn't say brutal but they're very true to their word and you know they tell it as it is just like me I'm that type of person as well I tell it as it is and I'm quite blunt about it um, and sometimes I do come across like a bitch but I'm just kind of being like transparent if you know what I mean like I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything you know I'm kind of lucky in that way that I have friends that um, you know just tell me how, how it is and everything else and you know, I've had a couple of people tell me that if you're if you're wanting to make the change, make the fucking change. You know, don't lie in your bed and think about making the change. Get up off your backside and make the change. That's just how it's going to work. Um, we a bit of a shorter video this time, but um, I feel like I've covered everything I wanted to cover. At the end of the day, COVID has taught me a lot of things. Um, it's taught me a lot about myself. It's taught me a lot about uh, other people on how, you know, a lot of people were actually just fake friends towards me and fake people towards me. And if this pandemic never happened, I'd probably still be with those people. So anyway, I'm gonna end that video there guys. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have kind of related to this video in some way. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below anything that you'd want me to talk about in a future video and I will see you guys in the next video.